want to see someone systematically disprove everything you have read about trading stocks and expose how and why you will consistently lose money if you aren't doing it right? Click the link in the description to check it out for yourself. But now for today's video. The question, where can I find free courses on how to trade stock in the stock market? Answer by Matt Harboe. In this answer, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to trade stocks in the stock market. You will learn everything you need to know in 8 simple steps. First, save $4,000 in a checking account. Why $4,000? Because this is twice the minimum amount needed to open a brokerage account with the margin feature activated. You may never choose to buy and sell stocks on margin, but this is also a sensible amount to start investing in stocks. Second, choose a broker. Really, any brokerage will do, but I'd recommend using one that doesn't charge a lot in fees to trade. I have a brokerage account with a couple of brokers, but I do the majority of my stock trading with Charles Schwab, who normally charges about $5 slash trade for online trades. They'll probably either have you write them a check, or let you electronically deposit the funds from your checking account. Most important, they're going to give you a lot of pieces of paper to sign. Read them all, very carefully, before you sign any one, and make sure you don't sign them or give them money unless you understand what is written there. This is probably the hardest of the steps I'm going to list, but it will save you a lot of headaches later. Third, choose a stock. Really, any stock would do, but since you've never traded a stock, I suggest you keep your first trade simple and invest $1,000 into a single broad market ETF like the Schwab US Broad Market Index Fund SCHB. If you choose to buy this stock at Charles Schwab Brokerage, you'll save even more money because they won't charge you a commission to trade it. Please note, this is not a solicitation for you to buy it, nor am I recommending that you buy it, I am simply using it as an illustrative example. You should read all of the information on the free website I linked to before buying an ETF like SCHB at your broker, or you should choose a different stock, and use the tools provided by your broker to read up on that stock. Fourth, choose how many shares you wish to buy. If you deposited $4,000 in the account, and you see that SCHB is trading at $1.65 slash share, approximately, as of January 3, 2017, you can buy up to 61 shares. Place your order to buy. It should be dead simple to do so. You select the ticker, SCHB, the number of shares, say, 60, for round numbers, or 15, if you wanted about $1,000 worth, whether you want to buy at the current market price or some lower fixed price, choose market for now, and how you want the order to be placed, typically defaults to today only for market. You will get a confirmation that the trade has been filled some seconds later. As long as the markets are open, fit, wait. It really doesn't matter how long you wait, but I'd recommend waiting at least 3 days. Orders are not considered complete until you have formally paid for the stock you purchased, which takes 2 days. Sixth, wait until the stock has increased in price. You might notice that this is the trick, and if you're looking for a free course that will tell you exactly how to do this, you're never going to find one. There are literally hundreds of thousands of conflicting opinions on step 6, and not a single one is provably correct. The best advice I've seen is wait a couple of years. During that time, your money is not idle. The way it would be in a bank or under a mattress or in Bitcoin, it is actually working, since you own a fractional piece of about 2,500 companies who are busy working for you. Their employees are your employees. Their board of directors and CEO are your board and CEO. You might even get a dividend, from time to time, a cash payment returning some of the money you invested in that company. The longer you wait, the more your money will grow, provided you pick a good company and wait an appropriate amount of time. The likelihood that you are going to pick badly by investing in 2,500 companies at once in an ETF is greatly reduced compared to just picking any one at random, though, and let's face facts, unless you are willing to do research on any or each of thousands of companies and decide which one is right for you, you're better off just hedging your bet. 7. Choose how many shares you would like to sell. You don't have to sell them all at once, and just like step 4 and buying, you can either choose a price or sell it at market. Place the trade, and within a few seconds after placing the trade during market hours, you will receive a confirmation. 8. Wait. You need to wait for the money from the sale to be fully paid and credited to your account, which takes 2 days, so wait at least 3 days. Congratulations! You now know everything you need to know on how to trade stocks on the stock market. You have actually done it. You don't ever need another course or tutorial or book or speech. There is literally nothing additional you need to know. 
If you feel this advice is a little thin or you would like more details, there are hundreds of thousands of books and websites you can read, but all of them are essentially going to tell you the same thing I have told you, you are the boss, you need to make the decisions. No one is going to help you to do that for free. If you don't want to pay for advice, you better be prepared to do a lot of homework, the hard work of learning what a company actually does behind the scenes. What you may not appreciate or realize is how few people have it put to them as simply and as plainly as I have done. What matters less than learning is the physical act of doing. Do it, and be prepared to lose a little bit of money in the process of doing it. I started about 25 years ago, and you wouldn't believe the stories I could tell you about people who made it seem much scarier and less simple than that, when that's all the facts I needed to get started. Here's an important safety tip, each and every company that sells shares in their company to the public is obligated, by law, here in the USA, to provide every investor in the company as much information as is reasonably possible. As soon as that information is available, to every investor at the same time. This information is available on the public Edgar site, though most brokerage companies provide you with a nicer user interface to the same information at each company's page. Likewise, each ETF provides the same information about the overall results and portfolio it holds. You probably don't care about that safety tip, most people believe they know a good company when they see one, and you'll probably buy Alphabet or Facebook or Apple or whatever company you think is good, but the rules and the process are exactly the same as the hypothetical example I have given you above. Answer by Gervinder. Hi. Do not waste your hard earning money on various courses and all the topic is completely unpredictable you can predict 6070% market only I have taken advice of various popular companies but at the end I'll have a same knowledge which you have. So be your own master make a habit to read economics basis news go for some news channel. There are various website on stock market, have a look on them and most important make your own portfolio have some good stocks and you can follow portfolio of some successful persons in the stock market.